Good afternoon. Hi everybody, Dr. Baumholtz and Anissa, and today uh, from Baumholtz Plastic Surgery, we're gonna talk about uh, dermaplaning. Now this is something I didn't really know a lot about uh, before we introduced it into the practice, thanks to Anissa. And Anissa is gonna tell us a little bit about dermaplaning and how um, it helps and what it does and what it's all about. So fire away. Hi, so dermaplaning is a mechanical exfoliation. We use a blade as such. Okay, so that, that, that for those surgeons out there looks like a, a Bard Parker with a 10 blade and we're gonna, we're gonna use this in a um, aesthetic way yeah, and, so and how do we use it? This is a medical form of exfoliation and we use um, to remove the... And I'm, and I'm gonna be, apparently I'm gonna be the model. I was told <laughs> I was gonna be the model. So we just lightly go over this top of the skin um, when it comes off dead skin and hair. So if you have, if you, that's right, it worked out fine. So if you have a little peach fuzz, that's the medical word for it, but if you have a little peach fuzz around your face, mm -hmm. um, this will, this is one way to handle it. Of course, there's other ways, but yes. uh, lasers don't work well if you have light hair or gray no. hair. Um, so certainly blonde hair, that's not so good. Um, and also, I think if I understood you right, it sets the stage for, number one, cleansing the skin in a very unique and, and powerful way, but also the ability to then uh, use product and really give that product a way to, to get into the skin and do something more. Absolutely, so it sets a stage for product absorption. So all of your serums when you're getting a facial, so we can include this in any facial service, or we can do it as a standalone service. Um, but it preps the skin because we're removing the dead skin from the top. Um, it also, when you're removing the hair, the hair is not there to absorb the product. So the product gets more into the skin. Yes. Okay, so a couple quick questions and then we'll leave everybody for the day. So how do I choose, I'm gonna come in and I want a prep, how would I choose a dermal planning versus, uh, let's say a microderm or a peel? Or how do, where do they fit together? Um, so we can, usually we do a skin analysis. So what that means is the person comes in and I don't, I don't allow a person to say this is what I want. So it's based on your skin condition, your skin type. Not everybody is capable of getting a microderm or a dermaplane. So once we do a consultation, we decide that. Um, but you can alternate. Like I said, a lot of people like to do it because they get rid of the peach fuzz. So every four to six weeks, the skin regenerates, regenerates and right. the hair grows back. Um, so, so you can do it, can do it every four to six weeks. Mm -hmm. and, and how much does dermaplane cost? So dermaplaning by itself is going to be 50 and included in a facial as an exfoliation, um, it is the 150. And you're a licensed esthetician and dermaplaning at least currently is, is, is we recommend being done only by a licensed trained um, yes. provider such as yourself. Yes. Especially because right. we're using a blade, guys. So that's the longer version. We're going to do a shorter version here in a few minutes. But thank you for listening. This has been about dermaplaning at Baumholtz Plastic Surgery. If you'd like to learn more or like to have a procedure done with Anissa, please call 210-920-2390. And thanks, everybody, for listening. Thank you. Bye.